people tend to judge you uh, by the suits you wear and the position you have. Uh, in my case, uh, I was kidnapped in 41 and brought from London, England to Moulton, Alabama and given the name of Peg Inn. Didn't say I married the Childers. A twin that was dead, they put me there and she died uh, a week or two weeks before I was put there, so it was planned. Uh, the other twin was killed a month after he was born. Uh, they were about a year older than me when they put me there. Uh, so they had to change the date of birth so it wouldn't jive. The state of Alabama just <laughs> blatantly marked through it and put the date they gave me when they put me there, uh, which is not even my name. I hope it's my date of birth. I don't even know that. But in other words, I, I was a year younger than they uh, were. I was put there and the family covered it up. Now then, I grew up in sheer poverty when I was brought from my father's Edward the Eighth that married um uh, never married Wallace Simpson. A double did. It was a character assassination to take him down. And um he was married to my mom all that time. He remained married. They were alive October the twentieth of eighty six. Now I'm not um a double married Wallace Simpson and yes Elizabeth and that whole brood that are illegal war criminals know it. So this is what I question, why people are so enthralled when uh, they see someone like Elizabeth and uh, William and Kate who are illegal, illegal. my son Mark and is heir, not uh, William, and there's questions as to whether Harry is even uh, Charles' son, um, so anyway. The whole thing uh, is if you're wearing the diamonds and going on vacations and trips and you live in luxury with people uh, catering to your every need at every moment, you can afford to smile uh, because you didn't have it robbed and your whole family, your life and your title and everything and brought to a dump and things done to me and my kids are so unspeakable, despicable. So people tend, i found, to uh, uh, cater toward those who have it. And their smiles, are well, they can afford to smile. They're not uh, being beaten to a pulp like me every moment of my life. So uh, I'm not going to, uh, the YouTubes that I put up I've and Facebook are true, everything in it. Now that I'm being threatened with Anastasia is my cousin just like she is to Elizabeth uh she that was a real Anna that was up at Charlottesville nearby well it's going up going this time it didn't while ago oh uh, but when I had Larry Flint's car because he helped me in a political campaign because I wrote about the person that shot him he was a program shooter and tried to get it published <clears throat> anyway Mr. Flint furnished me a uh, car for a year, and that's the last I heard from him, other than he, they sent me Hustler Magazine uh, up in Falls Church in 84, uh, April issue, uh, a very good one where he endorsed me for the presidency. And um, I haven't seen him since, but I had the car May of 84, and I was driving through Charlottesville. I'd just been finding out about my real name. And... Um, when I went through, it was 9 o'clock in the more Sunday morning, so it was either on the 6th or the 4th. I heard where she died, and I'm not going to go any further than that. I put it up, and this is a part of, man, they are coming after me again. Um, all her body uh, was destroyed except some intestines that they did a, supposedly did a DNA on. And uh, they said it wasn't Anna. Oh, yes, it was. And I had papers that thick from a court in Charlottesville handed to me the day before Christmas, I believe, in Charlottesville. He was a handyman that lived with them for 18 years in Scott Hill outside um, Charlottesville, a farm that uh, Anastasia and uh, Professor Manahan had and lived in. So this gentleman knew them inside out. Uh, he was told where I was, and it was Xeroxed for him to give to me, and he did. I walked Xeroxed to other copies, give it to the media. Nobody would touch it. 
this is from the court in Charlottesville about how well, she was. I'm not going to say it anymore. I've said it, and I'm in trouble now because they're going to do the same thing to me. Um, <clears throat> so I guess that's all I can say today other than uh, I'm on the run again, if I can even run, put my few things together and get out of here. Uh, I wanted to relate back to this, so I've put this up about people that sit on the Intelligence and Judicial Committee. I've told about one gentleman who is a senator, House of Representatives, um, saying that if he helped me, he'd be out in the National Forest living with me. Uh, then put him out there. Well, he's gone on. I'm not going to mention his name, but I just saw him on TV, and he's still headed the Judiciary Committee. But he did resign as of, I believe, May or June this year. I watched him, and over years, uh, you get better at your <clears throat> speaking and all that, you know. And he he's um, very dressed, very poised, very good at his delivery. And he's got this title. So here I go again telling the truth about someone. This had to do when I tried to live in the National Forest. All anybody had to do was give me a place to live and or let me pay for it. That's what I've been doing. Remember, you all kidnapped me, America, and brought me here. Uh, I'm not the villain in this. You are. So, uh, but don't you tell them. <laughs> Whoa. Um, but anyway... He was over the ag culture, and um, I've told the truth in all this, the YouTube and Facebook, hoping they would help garner support or help, and hasn't really done that. A few people have, you know, they have been there on Facebook, which was very nice, but as far as someone like women's groups or any groups getting together or your television, they won't touch it. Your media is controlled by the Illuminati that kidnapped me. But anyway, he was just up there, and I thought, now then he's left from over the ag culture, and he's up there head of the Judiciary Committee, and I'm still putting the truth up there about certain people. It's like I'm in everybody's way. They got what they wanted, so I can get the hell out of their way. Don't you dare put it on YouTube or Facebook anymore. Um, and I look at me in rags and, and go back to Facebook. Um, people will get mad at me for saying this, but someone who seemed pretty nice on Facebook, I don't know where, you know, so I'll leave it there. But, um, they were putting, uh, uh, pictures of, uh, William's wife, Kate. And remember, William, uh, is illegal. Charles, is, his father's illegal, Elizabeth's illegal, and his grand, great-grandfather, would it be his great-grandfather, George the Illegal Six, Six is illegal. He helped kidnap me. He helped take his own brother down, Edward VIII. So I'm looking at him well-dressed, and he, they're questioning him on, I believe it was Fox, I'm not sure, CNN. And... <clears throat> I thought these are the people, the former governor's uh, sessions is from Alabama. He certainly knows. Uh, he's the attorney general. He knows what happened to me and the things that I wrote about. And I'm talking about what happened to Mr. Flynn, etc. So all these people know it, and they're well-dressed, and they have their positions and homes. And I'm just the scumbag running around telling you all this, um, I had someone in law enforcement, I mean way up there, um, walked out the door, the two of them, and other than that, they were nice, <laughs> if you can call it nice. He said, <clears throat> well, we got what we want from you. You can leave now, as in just leave, vanish, kaboo, uh, meaning that they brought me over here, kidnapped me, brought me over here, and they've squeezed my money source, wherever it came from, the UK, part of my family. Uh, so got what they wanted. I can just die. Get the hell out of the way. <laughs>